Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing my lunch meal prep for the week, so thanks for tuning into this one. Um, we have a busy day today. We've been super busy on Saturdays with soccer for the boys, so I am going to do another crock pot recipe for my meal prep. It's October, so it's crocktober, and I just love using my crock pot during the fall. I am going to do another budget meal prep recipe again this week. This is gonna be a really healthy keto uh, recipe as well. And it's gonna be around $10, a little bit under $10 for my lunches for the week. So I'm gonna do a spaghetti squash in the crock pot. I love spaghetti squash. It, um, it just kind of comes out stringy like spaghetti, but no carbs and um, so it's really great. Love it. Um, you can cook it in the oven. I've even cooked it before in the microwave, um, but I'm gonna put everything in the crock pot today. Since we're running off to soccer, I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot and then I'll come back later and I'll finish it off and I'll put it into my meal prep containers. I'll show you guys how I make everything. Um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe and click the bell button so you get a notification each time I post a new video. Um, lots of budget meals coming up because um, gas is going up again. I thought it was gonna start going down, but gas is just crazy expensive. Food is so expensive, everything. So just trying to do some budget meal prepping because uh, food is a really great way to save some money if you need to tighten up that budget. So meal prepping and meal planning. It's a really great way to beat inflation if that's what you're looking to do. So uh, check out all my meal prep ideas that I have. I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration to cut down on that grocery budget and to meal prep nice and healthy meals for the week so that you are nice and organized. Um, I did a Crocktober um, recipe a couple weeks ago, so I'll put that link right above here. You can click on that. It was a really great budget. Again, um, white chicken chili was so delicious. So I just put that uh, link up there, so check that out. And then I'm gonna get all of this going, put it all in the crock pot, it's delicious, my spaghetti squash, and so healthy. So I'll get this all going, and then we'll run off and do our activities for the day, and then I'll come back and portion it into my meal prep containers. All right, so it's three simple ingredients this week for the meal prep, really easy. Um, I got my spaghetti squash. A spaghetti squash is about $5 for a whole one. I have my no sugar added pasta sauce. I always try and grab a couple of these at the store because sometimes they don't have them. And I have my meatballs. So I'm going to cut my spaghetti squash in half. I'm gonna do it um, in the, um, through the half of the, short way so instead of you can also cut it you know the other way the long way but uh, you cut the spaghetti squash open and it has seeds inside so i'm going to scoop the seeds out i'm going to use my melon baller because um, it has a little bit of a sharp edge and makes it a little bit easier to scoop the seeds out but i'm just going to scoop everything out from the center and then the spaghetti squash will be all nice and cleaned out and ready to cook uh, you can add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, uh, some seasonings if you'd like, um, but I'm not going to for this recipe because I have the sauce and the um, meatballs, which gives it tons of flavor. So I have my crock pot, just love using my crock pot during the fall. Um, so many great recipes and you can do them and leave for the day and everything turns out wonderful. So I have my spaghetti squash and I'm gonna add in my no sugar added sauce. I'm just gonna put it around the two pieces of spaghetti squash. And then I'm going to add in, I'm just using frozen meatballs uh, because I'm doing a super budget um, friendly recipe. So these are really inexpensive. The whole bag is $5 and I'm only going to use about a quarter of the bag. So really cost efficient um, for these. So I'm gonna add everything into the crock pot. Um, we will, um, go off to our activities for the day and when we come back this meal prep will be all ready to go Really easy. You guys know that I love easy simple recipes uh, So this one is really awesome if you want to give it a try. I will link everything in the description box um, So I have the crock pot ready to go. I'm gonna put the lid on And I'm gonna do it on low for eight hours um, if you want, you can do it on a high for four hours, uh, but since we're gonna be gone for a few hours, I'm gonna put it um, on eight on low, and then it'll be all ready to go. All right, so everything is cooked. It's been in the crock pot all day. Now I'm gonna portion it out. 
I have my two halves of the spaghetti squash and I'm going to cut them in half again and make them into quarters and then I'll have one quarter for each of my meals for each day of the week. And so I'm going to just cut it. It's nice and soft now. Um, the stem's a little bit hard, but I'm just gonna cut through that and cut them straight across and then they'll be ready to go into my containers. So these are so healthy, um, so stringy, just like a spaghetti, so that's why it's called spaghetti squash, but really fun to have these if you're looking for um, a spaghetti or noodle alternative. Spaghetti squash is really great. You could just cook it and then add whatever toppings you normally add into your pasta. You can add it with the spaghetti squash and makes it really healthy. So I'm going to put um, each quarter into each of my glass meal prep containers, my lunch ones, and then I will add on top the um, rest of everything that was in the crock pot. I have my sauce and my meatballs, and this is going to make a really delicious lunch for this week. I just love using the crock pot, like I said, and um, did a little crocktober recipe for you guys. Um, really easy if you have busy weekends and um, you just need to set your crock pot on and forget about it and then come back later in the day. Um, this is a really great recipe to do, one of my favorites. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. Uh, click subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, put a thumbs up on this video if you like it. Leave me a comment if you have any questions at all. I hope that you have a really great day. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.